Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to mirror a metahuman animation in Unreal Engine 5 sequencer. I am making this video because this is something I struggle with a lot, so hopefully it helps anyone who needs it. I haven't tested this method out in Unreal Engine 4.27, so let me know in the comments if you do test it. If you head over to this website which I have put in the description as well, you will find a basic idea of how to go about mirroring animation within Unreal Engine. The idea is to create a mirror data table which is used to flip the animation. I am going to demonstrate this for a metahuman. You can try it out with custom character and let me know if it works. I am hoping you would face issues regarding the hands bending the wrong way, but don't take my word for it. I am in no way capable of predicting the future. Anyway, I have this basic scene setup where my metahuman is performing a spinning kick. The sequencer looks something like this. Now, the first thing to do in order to mirror the animation is to create a mirror data table. You can create it wherever you want, just right click within the appropriate folder, go into animation and click on mirror data table. It is going to ask you which skeleton to use. I am going with the metahuman base skeleton since my animation is on a metahuman right now. Click on accept and you are good to go. You can try your own thing. And we are done. Since it is a metahuman, I don't have to change anything in here, but you would have to adjust a few things as per the documentation to get it right for your own custom character. Once we are done creating the table, go back to the sequencer, right click on the animation, go to properties and down there in the mirror data table section, select the one you just created. Rerun the sequence to see the magic. Note that this will only work with animation and not when you have baked the entire sequence to control rig. So make sure to mirror if needed before baking the animation. Let me know in the comments if this was useful to you. Also let me know the topics you would like to see future videos on. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you again in the next one. Have a great day.